So I ordered this J5 Create JUD500 docking station uh, with wormhole technology and it got delivered today in the post. So first thing that I noticed was it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, so this is a box and this is a normal sized mouse next to it if you give it a bit of perspective. Or even better, here's a guitar pick next to it for some perspective. But the box looks pretty nice, looks pretty cool. I won't bother going into too much detail. We'll open it up and connect it up to my Surface Pro and see how it goes. Okay, so just to give you a point of reference, this is my normal setup at home. I've got the V131 laptop connected to the uh, I think it's a 20 inch external monitor and it works very well um, but I've recently got the Surface Pro and when we add that into the picture things get a little bit more complicated because all of a sudden if I want to do work on both machines at the same time it gets complicated so I can quite happily work on the Surface Pro but if I want to do anything on the laptop, maybe type into a work on a document, look up a web page or anything like that, I have to reach around the Surface Pro to access the keyboard or tilt this forward and try to access the keyboard. And having two mice again is a little bit uh, annoying because sometimes you grab the wrong mice or um, just takes up more room on your desk. So now that I've got the J5, JD500, whatever it's called, uh, I'll hook that up and we'll see what it can do. Okay, we're back and now I've connected up the JUD500 to both my Surface Pro and my laptop and um, We'll just quickly go through the connections. So we've got the power cable here on the right. Then we've got a USB 3 cable which goes from the uh, docking station, comes along and it plugs into my Surface Pro. Uh, I tested out the USB ports and the VGA port and they all work fine. Um, I didn't test out the Ethernet or uh, the HDMI or the audio but um, the port I'm more interested in is this wormhole port and that connects from the docking station across here and into USB port on the Dell laptop. So what that means now is I can use one mouse and one keyboard to control both computers and it's pretty cool. It's better than just a simple uh, KM switch because I can actually copy and paste between the two computers. So just first off you can see I've got one mouse here we've got the get a glare out, we've got the cursor moving on the screen and if I go up you'll see my cursor now is on the laptop screen and if I keep going up you'll see it moving around on the monitor. So essentially I've got three, three monitor desk space um, and since I've got mostly the same applications installed on, on both machines, it's quite good from a workflow point of view. So, for example, something simple you might want to do is copy one file from one machine to the other. So if we want to do that, let's just go in back to the desktop. Oh, dirty screen. Okay, so... Just say, for example, I want to copy, this is a pretty good one. So this is a 12 meg file. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's a 12 meg file. And if I want to copy that across to, it's hard to do this holding the camera and trying to mouse at the same time. If I want to copy that from my Surface Pro to my laptop, I can, just drag it. Oops, didn't work. I can click it, drag it, drop it, 
boom, copied. So that was pretty quick for a 12 meg file. Um, I guess it's a quick way to transfer things. From a workflow point of view though, what's more interesting is if I want I can copy and paste things. So for example, um, I might have a web page here, maybe a, a PDF document here, and then I may be working in a in a Word document here, and I might want to it's a Word document here, and I might want to copy something from from a web page or a PDF document and paste it into Word, and we can do that. So let's just have a look how we do that. So for example, just say there's something on this web page I like. Okay, it's just YouTube. I could go into my snipping tool. And maybe I'll just cut out this because I think that's interesting. Okay, then I can come down. So that's on my clipboard on my laptop. And I can come down to the Surface Pro. Paste. Boom. It's in there. So from a workflow point of view, it's like having two machines. Well, it is. You have, you've got two machines, um, the screen space of three monitors, and you can move files around, copy and paste. The only thing you can't do is, obviously, you can't move windows around from one, um, one machine to another. So, for example, this window here, if I try to move this up, it just doesn't go any further. Okay. But... If I drag a document up, oops, that wasn't right. I need to, if I drag a document up, it will let me drag and drop and copy that across. So you can copy between the clipboard and you can drag and drop files, but you can't actually move windows between the monitors. But from a workflow point of view, I think it's really good. I can see that. Uh, there's a lot of times when I will have either a Word document or an Excel document um, on my main screen here on my uh, Surface Pro and I may have either a PDF or another Word document, an Excel file, maybe a web page open on my other two monitors and I can copy and paste content um, or just refer to content while I'm typing on the other one. So the other thing I forgot to mention is uh, the keyboard works on on both as well so it's probably obvious since it's a KVM or KM switch so here I'm in my on my notebook screen but I can type here and it will appear on the notebook screen so I can use so here I'm not typing on the Dell, typing on the Surface Pro and it's coming up. So it's really neat and handy too. So essentially I can just use the one keyboard and mouse to control both machines. I can copy and paste from the clipboard between both machines. I can drag and drop files between both machines. So all in all I think it's a really good solution for me and rather than having just the docking station and then maybe trying to copy things across by using Dropbox or um, you know USB drives whatever essentially I've got access to both machines conveniently using a single keyboard and mouse um, and I can basically just throw one of those other mouses in the drawer whenever I come home just plug in a single USB cord into my Surface Pro and I've got access to my home setup and my mobile setup all at once. So I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll uh, try my best to answer them. Thanks.